back in Monaco, the women's 400 meters on the track. The U.S. champion of the 400 meter hurdles is here, Shamir Little. Right at Texas A&M, getting some training in without the hurdles today. She'll take lane number eight. That's right. It looked like she's having a lot of fun. I love to see that here in lane seven is Sade Williams. She was the first woman to win a medal for Barbados. She won a bronze last year at the World Championships. The Diamond League points leader so far this season is Natalia Kaczmarek of Poland. The 25-year-old gets the draw in lane six. And here is Rashid Adeleke of the University of Texas, now gone pro, obviously. What a season she had, incidentally champion defending on home turf. It was awesome to watch her perform there. In lane number four from the Netherlands, Lucky Klaver, fourth in the World Championship final last year in Eugene. And here is Mary Mara, World Championship bronze medalist, Diamond League final winner last year. You know, doing really big things for Kenya in the sprints. That medal in the 800 meters, so she drops down for the 400 today. And Akil Pasinka of Poland, she also made the World Championship final last year, finishing eight. And this is Vinay Vanderwalt in lane one. She's a 2018 World Junior Champion. And Sonia, this was to be the Monaco appearance for Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni, but a yes. late decision by her team to pull her out because of some soreness in her knee. So yeah. you as the American record holder will <laughs> stay the American record holder for now. But what do you think about that decision looking ahead to Budapest? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the big goal for her is to win another world championship title and now in her new event. So obviously, Bobby Kersey knows best. Um, unfortunate for us because I was looking forward to seeing her going up against this great field. but. Still a wonderful field. I think the ladies can go sub 50 today. Love seeing Shamir Little in this field, showing that she's working on her speed as well. So excited for this 400 nonetheless. Women's 400 meters in Monaco. And that is Little gets right past the camera quickly, but it'll be a very competitive field in lane seven. That's Shade Williams. The bronze medalist in Eugene last year. We'll keep an eye on Kaczmarek as well in the middle of the track as they head down the back stretch. That's also Clapper making a great move there in lane four, catching Adeleke. But Shade Williams was the one who really took the pace. And Shamir Little not giving a lot back there, Paul. She's still in good position. But watch Adeleke. This is how she won her NCAA title. Her final 100 is phenomenal. Yeah, a little out there, doesn't know what she doesn't know because she's out there ahead of everyone else. Maybe feeling it alongside. Look at the competitiveness of this race as now it's catch Morik coming to the line. Will she catch little? She will in the end. So the Polish athlete in lane number six adds to her Diamond League point totals and will take the win here as it looks like now four women sub 50 in a very competitive quarter lap race. What a race. That's the way Kazmarek likes to win it, isn't it? She was also behind when she ran her personal best a week or so ago, 49-4. But I didn't think she was going to catch Little. What a race for Shamir Little. 49-68 is a huge PB for her. And she had nobody in front of her, but I think when she felt Shade Williams, she was really able to just push it, keep the pace, and the strength of the 400-meter hurdles really paid off for her in the final phases of that race. I was literally on the edge of my seat, Paul. What a phenomenal race, and four women under 50 seconds. And Williams there in fifth, right at that 50-second standard. As catch Marek. Taking it all in, if you ever wondered what five hundredths of a second looks like, there it is as Pat Marek wins in 49.63. Little in a new lifetime best, finishing in third. Yeah, she's going to be really happy with that, Paul. Going into the World Championships, that is what you want to do. You want to be improving, running at your best. And if she can run sub-50 in the 400, what is she going to be able to do over hurdles? Little out there just cannot hold on that blistering last 50 meters by the winner, Kaczmarek, from Poland.